Hi, Internet! I'm Color Farney, and welcome to a Let's Play I've wanted to do for a long time. Frogger, he's back. Frogger 3D, however you want to call it. It's this Frogger, basically. And also, I am playing the computer version. It's got faster load times than the PlayStation version. Unfortunately, the music isn't working. So I will be putting in the music in editing. So if the music sounds off at times, that's why. So... This is one of the first games I ever played, and it's also one of my favorites. Hey, no, 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 I don't want people to sh see the game being played without me. No. And it has not saved my preferences, I don't think. Control configuration, view keys. Oh, no, it has saved it. It just... Uh, putting super hop at the X key doesn't mean you get to push the X key to start the game all that much. Alright, so this is not Frogger as you might know it, where it's just like, oh, there's the road, then there's the lake, and then you get the frogs. No, there's a bunch of different worlds. And we only have four of them at the start. So we're going to start with the retro levels, which are basically like the old levels. But they shake things up. So let's get started. Retro level one. Also, this game has a ton of really good music. I'm just gonna say. So, Frogger's gotta jump to it. So, we've got a time limit, 25 seconds. And you've, your goal is basically to collect these five frogs right here. And good, my control scheme is working out. So, you can move around by jumping. You can also... Whoa, okay. Also, in Frogger, everything's trying to kill you. You can't swim even though you're a frog, cars are trying to run you over, turtles go underwater. And this is the least hectic out of the retro levels. The reason I'm jumping back and forth is because every time you jump, you get points. Which goes up to your score. And I would love to be able to beat Tim's high score. His high score is like 25,000, I think. Whoops. So the logs are drifting downriver, and then the uh, turtles are swimming upriver. Yeah, so there are five frog colors. There's green, orange, purple, blue, and red. And if the game seems boring right now, it picks up. The first world is kind of boring, but afterwards it's a lot more open world, way more exploration, way more awesome. Yeah, onward to retro level 2. And I hate having to push the enter button when I set super hop to X just to select things on the menu. So now we only have 20 seconds, oh joy. There's also more traffic and more turtles that go underwater. And you can see there's a crocodile up there biting one of the frogs. You do not want to step on the frog while the crocodile is biting down. Also there are crocodiles at the end. You do not want to step on their heads, they will eat you. And that was too close. This level might have the strictest time limit in the game. Yeah, as you can see, it was already counting down to, into the red zone. And it's so annoying not getting to listen to the music while I'm playing. You guys will be listening to the music, and lucky you, because it is amazing. I also used to be a beast at this game, so we'll see if uh, I still have the skills. While the crocodile head is small, you can jump on it, but when it's big like that, you cannot. You will die. So yeah, as I was going on about the controls, you can move in those four directions. You can also super hop like that, gives you extra points, and you can jump up large ledges. You can also use your ton to eat bugs, which give you extra points, and you can croak to kind of hear where the frogs are on the levels where they're hidden, but it's pretty pointless. You can also rotate the screen. So Retro Level 3, we've got 30 seconds, and the traffic is faster and more crazy than ever. We've also got snakes moving around on the logs and on the grass that I'm on right now. And beavers. If you are at the far left side of the log while a beaver's there, they can jump up and kill you. So be, be aware of that. Stupid crocodile. So hey, if I'm lucky, I might even play more than just the first five retro levels, except levels four and five are insane. Also, this is a pink frog. I'm not really sure its official name. It might be Lily Frog from Frogger 2. I don't know. Basically, if you get a frog when you've got the pink frog on you, you'll get extra points. They only appear on the retro levels, and that's all right. 
I don't go out of my way to please the lady frogs. Whoa, that was a little too close. Also, you'll notice as the levels are progressing, the music's getting more and more hectic. That is intentional. What the heck? Stupid... Ha! Ah. You can jump on the turtles that go underwater, but it's risky. So now we're going to level Retro Level 4, and I'm ripping through these levels faster than even I thought. I guess I do still have the skills, and I'm going to regret saying that, aren't I? Now we've got 24 seconds. Very odd amount. You can see all the blue cars everywhere. There are snakes on every other log now, which is fun. And the crocodiles are plentiful. I try to go to the, for the left side frogs first, since they are the tougher ones to get. Whoa, okay. Whoops. Also, you'll notice in the bottom right-hand screen, I've got a bunch of frogs that indicates your lives. The little frogs are worth one life, the big frogs are worth three. Or maybe four, I don't know. No, they're... Big frogs indicate free frogs. You can tell which turtles are going to go underwater, because those will be slightly discolored. Like, they'll be a lighter or a darker color than the regular turtles. Still, if you're going really fast, it can sometimes be hard to tell. Whew! All right, uh. I also, I occasionally go on the snake logs, especially right, like right now, where I really don't have a choice. Darn it! Also, when you're on a moving log and you jump on another moving object, uh, it can be hard to aim. You will not always land where you think you are going to land. Oh no, no. Stupid crocodile. Trying to ruin my life. Alright, time for the fifth retro level, and this is the final one, and boy is it hectic. First off, it's more zoomed in than the other level, so it's harder to see ahead. The traffic is absolutely insane. There's stuff everywhere. Crocodile, literally only crocodiles at the end. And the beavers now are on the turtles. And this is a golden frog. There's one per world, and getting it will unlock the next world. Also, there's a special ending if you get all the golden frogs. Also, the golden frog will be in the same spot every time. Sometimes they're really well hidden, sometimes they are not. Yeah, so you notice when I'm at the front, there are no logs, it's only alligators. Actually, I'm not sure if they're alligators or crocodiles. Because you can't really tell by their snout. So yeah, I just went on the turtles that went underwater, and I survived. Barely, but I did. Alright! Come on. Oh, no. No! <laughs> yeah, this game gets hectic. Very, very fast. And if I honestly one-shot the retro levels, I will be very impressed with myself, because I almost always have a game over. I can't, also can't believe this game still runs on my computer. This game was made in, like, the 90s. It is now 2016, and also I completed the zone, and when you complete the zone, you get this nice little, uh, end fanfare, fanfare, and it's slightly different for every world, so that's pretty cool. I should probably shut up, just so you guys can hear it better next time. Whoops. But, yeah, zone complete, and I am impressed that I managed to one-shot that level. I game over in this quite a bit. But, yeah, if you're wondering the reason why the, uh, music doesn't work is because... The designers made it so that way um, the music was being played through a, another program on that was built into like Microsoft Windows 95 or whatever it was. The problem was, when XP came out, the program used to run the music actually no longer existed. They basically like got a better version of it. The problem is, now when you play Frogger, it tries to open the old program, which no longer exists, so the music doesn't play. However, the sound effects are still fully intact. Thank goodness for that. I would not be putting in sound effects if I had to manually do that. But yeah, you can see we've got the gold frog here. And it's all complete. That means we have 100% completed this level. 
And now we are going on to the lily pad levels. I will not be playing all of them. There's five more and they are a lot harder, but I will at least be playing the first one, maybe two. Also, if a level is flashing like this, that means you have not yet to beat the level. Each world has a different amount of levels. Uh, there's, it's not like they all have five. Like you can see, the leaf one has two. Gear has three. And you also see we unlock the bat. But enough chatting. Let's go to Lily Islands. So the car world is basically the retro world. And then the lily pad world is basically a grass slash water world, which is pretty cool. Also, really groovy music. And you'll be seeing this level is uh, quite a bit different from the other ones. you also see there are bugs lying out for me to eat. And that's how you change the camera. So that is Auto Hop. I hate Auto Hop because it makes you hop sometimes when you don't want to. And I'm probably going to be getting Super Hop and uh, Lick mixed up quite a bit. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay. Woo! Alright. Time to do something risky. We have to go this way. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did not die. I cannot believe I did not die there. So you can see there's the purple guy up there. You can also see there's some really bad resolution butterflies we can eat. And the orange frog! Yeah! No, don't leave without me. I'm sure a lot of you will be like, why aren't you exploring down, like, in the area beneath the start? Like, why not? It's because I've already explored pretty much all these levels to their maximum potential, and there's nothing down there. Not even, like, bugs to eat. Once more going down here. First off, though, if we go down here... We get a 1-up, and we are now maxed out on lives, and we can get the red for Og. I do wish I could hear the music, but I'm going to just shut up about that, you know? Oh, not maxed out on lives anymore. Whoa, no, you're not leaving without me. Looking back, this game does not have great graphics, but it's still a lot of fun. So some lily pads spin you, like this one. I chose to go on that one because I was in the wrong area. That is a bulldog. Very bad graphic bulldog, but a bulldog nonetheless. So here we get Superton, a uh, really, really high value bug, and then another one up. Superton basically lets you lick bugs at a much greater distance than you could before. You also notice that is a pelican, and they are friendly. You can jump on them and they'll give you a ride. Hey, buddy. In a later world, you can jump on their beaks. I do not trust myself to jump on their beaks in the lily pad world, because I don't remember if it works. And that takes us to the purple frog. So now all that we've got left is the blue frog, and he's fairly close to the purple frog. Oh boy. Whew. While you're rotating on that, it's hard to judge where pushing a certain button will send you. And look at that score going up! And that's where the blue frog is. I think we've got time for one more level today. Let's go to Bow Wow Falls. One of my favorites. Also home to some amazingly epic music. I actually use this in my subwebs uh, pack. Go on. And it's Bulldog Central. Getting past those last three can be a problem. We might see that later. Also, I'm going to be extremely risky and try to get that bug. Phew. As you can see, the levels are getting huge now. Way more exploration, and this these are the levels that I like. Man, those bulldogs are being nice. No! Oh! I thought that was ton for a second. I'm getting those buttons mixed up. Maybe I should have kept it at uh, Super Hop's Enter and Wick his control. Sometimes those bulldogs will fake you out as well, where they'll like stop unexpectedly or stuff like that. Not fun, not cool, 
not clear. And hop on the pelican for a ride! And we get the blue frog along with quite a few bugs. Alright, okay. One more frog up here, and then we'll explore the rest of the stage. Come on. Yeah, they can be annoying at times. Also, this game has quite a few very gruesome deaths. We'll be seeing those later on. Also, I didn't realize just how giant Frogger is. He's, like, as wide as a car. No! Stupid bulldogs! Frogger cemented my dislike for bulldogs for the rest of my life. Whew! So that's what Croak does. As in, not a whole lot. So now what we're gonna do is wait down here, and there's a balloon we can jump on. And for some reason, most of the balloons in this are pink. And there's the red frog. You push it down, in case you were curious. Alright, time for one last big risk. No! Wrong button! Well, I got the bug. I just lost my life. Okay, and this is a lawnmower. Avoided at all costs. And lucky us, we could get across. For some... No! I keep messing up. <laughs> I keep being like, oh, better time to eat some bugs, super hop. Ow. Yeah, those lawnmowers are nasty. They result in probably the goriest death in the game. Okay, as I was saying before, these are swans. That's where the green frog is, and if you're lined up just wrong, you will not be able to get it. That's where the orange frog is, but we're gonna eat some bugs on our way. Bugs that are blue or green, like, entirely give you more time, whereas red bugs take away your time. Or sometimes take away your points, which is really fun. We're about to see lawnmowers a lot more in the next video. A lot more. Oh, yes. Alright! We just... We've beat seven levels today. I think that's a good spot to stop, as well as the fact that we're going to start next episode on one of my favorite levels in the game. Also, one of the most insanely hectic ones. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm Color Forney, and I hope to see you for the next Frogger episode. Have a great day, and God bless.